and welcome to banned expressions, support free speech in Tibet. Banned expressions is a cooperation project between three partners, the Tibetan Center for Human Rights and Democracy, High Peaks Pure Earth and Dechen Pempa, who is here with us today, and Voice of Tibet. It is a project based on the idea of sharing and cooperating in trying to highlight the work and faith of Tibetan artists, writers, singers and intellectuals in Tibet, many of them in prison right now. Band expression contain um, a compilation of uh, material including a report by the Tibetan Center for Human Rights and Democracy, the work of Dechen Pemba, and also the film we will see tonight, produced by Voice of Tibet's uh, video director, Sona Mangdu. And um, the campaign started in Dharamsala on 10 December with an awareness concert. This week we are in Oslo, and hopefully we will be able to take the campaign global by finding partners in other countries who can dare do their way of banned expressions in their country. All this material, most of it, is, um, is um, put together on a Facebook site called um, facebook.com slash free speech Tibet and um, when you have time you should have a look and if you like you should like and share. Today it is so that any expression of Tibetanness in Tibet will put you in danger and maybe in prison. And I have the pleasure, honor of introducing Kelsang, who will sing a song from Amdo, playing together with Hildegun Oyset. And this song is not allowed to be performed in Tibet, but thankfully it is in Norway and Oslo. So therefore, I'm pride, proud to introduce Kelsang and Hildegun Oyset in Oslo. <coughs> Let's <laughs> 
should do. Therefore, to introduce the kind of issue of Tibet, we have chosen to sh show it through a short uh, film uh, produced by an American called uh, Joe Bauer, who visited Dharamsala some time back. And he was so inspired by the people he met there in Dharamsala that he ended up making a film about what he experienced and the people he met there. So I say, hey Joe, this is your film, which is now, you and the film is now part of uh, Band Expressions. Please. Imagine you're 12 years old, maybe younger. Your parents wake you up with a small backpack next to your bed. They're smiling, but their eyes say something's wrong. Instead of heading off to school, you're told you need to leave the only home you've ever known for a 14-day trek across some of the most treacherous landscapes known to man, the Himalayas. If you're caught, you might be imprisoned or even killed. Worse, you may never see your family again. 
these changes taking place is in cultural expressions. So that's what this uh, project, Band Expressions, is all about. And that's also um, the focus of my work with High Peaks Pure Earth, because after 2008, when an entire area, that vast, goes silent, and you have, uh, in essence, a media blackout, which uh, hasn't stopped even till um, today, you know, where do you go to look for expressions uh, coming from inside Tibet? And when you have no journalists allowed in this area, there are more journalists in North Korea than there are in Tibet, for example. When you have uh, no diplomatic representations in the whole area, and also very few, even very few tourists, very few visitors are allowed into Tibet. So where do we go to look for expressions from Tibet? So uh, what my work has involved is looking um, online and seeing what people are writing in, on blogs, um, in social media, and to look at what's coming out from um, musicians, from writers, looking at the poetry. And it's been so interesting to observe this real move um, amongst Tibetans inside Tibet to unite. And this feeling of unity and solidarity has, come, I think, come out of 2008. And this is where we are today. And in the few years that I've been monitoring uh, websites, looking at these cultural expressions, I'm always amazed by how much is coming out and how much is being said through poetry, through writings, through songs. So um, on High Pukes Pure Earth, uh, I'm trying to make these works um, accessible to a wider audience. So it's a purely a translations project. So we're translating articles, we're translating song lyrics, uh, music videos. So if you go on the website, you'll see all different kinds of cultural expressions. And you'll see all different types of identity um, assertions, which has grown very, very strong. So. What you'll also see in the documentary film is you'll see how singers are expressing themselves and how po poets and writers are expressing their Tibetan <coughs> identity. Um, and these cultural expressions are very risky uh, in Tibet. You'll see that there are singers and writers who've been imprisoned for their work. Um, for example, a singer who has referred to the Tibetan flag in their song will be imprisoned for four years or six years for this reference. Um, you'll also see many uh, metaphors in song lyrics. For example, instead of directly referring to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, they will refer to the sun or the sun and the moon, referring to lamas in Tibet. And the messages which have been coming out of Tibet since 2008 have been really quite uniform, whether they come from Eastern Tibet, Central Tibet, Northeastern <coughs> Tibet. All the song lyrics are roughly saying, um, several things. Um, one thing, uh, they're calling for unity amongst all Tibetans, and they're hoping one day for the reunion of Tibetans inside Tibet and outside Tibet. And they're calling for the return of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Tibet. And these messages are very, very strong. So what I find actually very inspirational about the work that I do is very often we have a narrative of Tibetan <coughs> culture dying, whereas these artistic expressions show very much that people's uh, spirits haven't been broken and these expressions are coming out stronger and stronger despite all the risks. So we have Tibetans uh, really taking control of the narrative and asserting their own uh, identity and saying, we are Tibetan, we are very proud people with a proud history, we have our own language, we have our own cultures, and we have our own historical references. And we are completely separate and we have things to say and we're very proud people. So instead of placing Tibetans as uh, victims in, in this picture. You have artists and writers and poets who are really proud and saying, this is who we are, and we're proud of who we are, and we're going to express who we are. So I think these are very positive messages we can take away um, from the film. So um, we'll, we'll show the film now. I think it's about 40 minutes. And um, then afterwards, there'll be a program continuation after that. So thank you very much. I hope you uh, learn a lot from the film and enjoy the film. Uh, 